Good evening, my friends. Welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So, we're back here with Ben's Album Challenge, a show that comes out every Sunday night, and Ben has given me the album Kick by the group In Excess, which is an Australian band. The album was released in 1987. It's about 40 minutes in length. Really catchy kind of pop, heavy pop album. For those of you who don't know what we do here, I'm basically just giving a review of an album that one of my friends, one of my subscribers, Ben, gives me every week. And uh, he likes me to choose a song. And the song I'm going to choose from this album tonight is Devil Inside. Okay, so this album is a very poppy album, but it has some heavy pop on it as well. Real catchy guitar riffs and beats at certain times. The beat is really catchy as well in most of the tracks. The vocalist is very smooth. He has a smooth, smooth sounding voice. Perfect for these this type of music. Um, a lot of these songs come with a video. The video is always kind of um, really kind of upbeat, up tempo. Um, this guy is a, a looker, so we get. I'm thinking he, he's getting a lot of attention as well. Um, yeah, so a really, really catchy album. It had four hits on it. Uh, New Sensation, Devil Inside, uh, Need You Tonight, and another song further down, yeah, Never Tear Us Apart, which is a little bit ballad like But overall, pretty strong album. Lots of radio airplay. Lots of uh, hits. Um, so we'll start with the, the first song on the album, which is Guns in the Sky. It's a heavy pop, heavy, uh, catchy song. Um, starts out in a school hallway, if you see the video, and he's walking down the middle. Yeah, a real, a real catchy pop song. I like this song. Um, New Sensation, of course, was a hit. Uh, a well-known, catchy kind of guitar pop uh, song. The vocals are really clear here. Lots of uh, smooth sound to his voice and the lyrics of on, on this song and most of the songs are really really well written and catchy um, my favorite track on the album devil inside catchy beat with some really smooth vocals here and uh, just that catchy guitar rift yeah so it's super super catchy song the lyrics on this are my favorite on the album as well um, next upside next upside <laughs> next song up uh, Need You Tonight, Catchy Beat, um, another great guitar riff, another really smooth guitar, uh, um, another really smooth vocals, really silky like actually, really, really catchy song. This is another one of those big hits for them. Um, Mediate, uh, another song that should have probably been a hit as well, real catchy beat, um, just great. A lyrical part on it as well. I think this is one of the longer songs on the album as well. I like this a lot as well. I think it, it, it probably should have been a hit. A uh, Loved One. Heavy beat, guitar, dominant song. Um, another strong vocal performance as well. I think this guy is a very frontal type vocalist good lead man it's almost like it's his band when you when you're watching the videos and stuff obviously he does a lot of the lyrical writing I think as well uh, wildlife another catchy beat uh, another great vocal performance and you got never tear us apart this is the kind of ballad -y keyboard dominated song uh, with some synth pop in there sorry my oh yeah now I see what happened at the other computer went off so yeah, really catchy kind of beat. Um, yeah, it's a it's a more of a pop uh, ballad type song though, with some strings in it as well. You'll see if you see the video, you see some old guys playing the violin here, and that it, uh, it's the one song that's a little bit different than the rest because it's a ballad and it got that kind of um, woodwind woodwind uh, violin sound to it as well. Um, Mystify, well the last four tracks, Mystify, Kick, Calling All Nations, and Tiny Daggers, they're all okay songs.
probably the weaker part of the album if you ask me they could have cut it off right here and this would have been a fantastic album but they added these last four songs and you know I get it they need to fill up more space on the album but to me these are all basically just not so memorable pop songs that they kind of threw in so they might even be might even want to call them filler none of them are bad though I wouldn't say any of these songs are dominant in any way the mystify is a little better than the other three because it's got that kind of piano vocal and and uh, vocal dominant part of the song where they're sitting around playing and it's like they're learning the song that part I didn't mind the rest of the tracks you know nothing really to, to say too much about them they're not great but they're not bad either like I wouldn't I wouldn't turn the album off at this point and say oh that's it then these are no good they, just you know they could have done without them so anyways real a real solid album lots of good catchy hooks lots of great kind of um poppy numbers the guitar is memorable as hell the vocalist is very smooth he has his style he has the look yeah perfect band for if you're trying to make it big in the world at that time he was perfect for the set so yeah really really good album i enjoyed it um this is a band that I've listened to off and on. I've never really gotten into them, but I, I have liked some of the stuff that they have. Obviously, the radio stuff gets played a lot, so you get a chance to really hear a lot of them. So, you know, for this week, that's the band we're doing, In Excess and their album Kick. Pretty great, pretty great album for pop fans. If you like pop, this is an album right up your alley, and I just think that it's great. So, anyways... I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Ben's Album Challenge. And we'll be back next week with another album challenge. We're going to get to a point with these album challenge when we get like around 30 or so. Um, I'm going to do an episode of my favorite 10 or 20 uh, episodes. I'll list them in order of my favorites. Um, and then we probably might go bi-weekly for the summer. Uh, the only two shows that I'm going to have that aren't going to go bi-weekly are my Monday night look back at a classic rock album and the favorites on Wednesday. Everything else will remain bi-weekly for, for the rest of the summer anyways, and then we'll get back into it in the fall and we'll see what happens. But this will be the, you know, there'll be a few more Ben's album challenge before we get to that. Anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And we'll be back again next Sunday with another of Ben's album challenges. Take care.